Hello and welcome to Beamer Folk. I thought I'd have a little um, chat to you about this uh, radio I bought for a bathroom um, from Tesco's. Tesco's in the UK is a large supermarket and uh, this was about £25. It could have been slightly less than that but I thought it was about that. Um, excellent little radio. It's a DAB stroke FM uh, radio and the model number is on the back and it's too fine. Let me try and zoom into it a bit. Um, there we go. Let's have a look. There we are. Uh, the model number is uh, a Tesco radio of course. D for David, R for Robert, 1703 B. Um, excellent radio except it does draw um, a little too much current for the battery pack uh, provided and um, as it's a bathroom radio of course you can't run mains to a bathroom radio that is lethal I wouldn't recommend that to anybody and most mains power in a bathroom is up in the ceiling well out of reach. This radio draws about 150 milliamps on modest volume and uh, lasts with um, its four times AA battery pack no longer than a few hours. Um, it's always sli slightly disappointing. I'm used to old FM AM radios which drew very very little current and would last for um, decades, well, weeks. Um, so I kind of looked for a solution and I was going through a store that we have here in the UK called Poundland and came across this power bank um, for a five, which I thought was reasonable. It's got on the power bank that it is a 4,000 milliamp hour capacity um, for four amp hours. And I thought, well, that's, I wonder if I, I can somehow attach this power bank to the radio and see how long it lasts. I didn't expect it to actually have the capacity of 4000 milliamp hour, but even if it had say 2000 milliamp hour, it would be probably quite useful. Uh, they never really deliver what they say on the pack. And um, that's what I tried. I didn't turn the volume up of the radio for your enjoyment simply because I was a bit concerned about copyright strike. I'm not quite sure what is strikeable and what is not strikeable, so I decided to put no volume on it at all. Anyway, this is the power bank from uh, Poundland at £5, and, um, and as you can see it's called Geek. This has been reviewed and torn down uh, by our um, friend Big Clive and uh, down south I'll put a link to his uh, video on this. It's an excellent uh, review and there's no point in me going over that. Okay, let's talk about connecting this little project up. The radio has a 6 volt DC input from um, usually connected from the adapter which was supplied with the radio of course you can't run the adapter in the bathroom so hence the reason for a power pack i've now got to connect the radio to the power pack and let me bring in the power pack here it has of course naturally two usb outputs one mini usb charger input power led and an LED gauge indicating remaining capacity. Now let's first try and connect this up. Now I've bought two leads, one lead initially hoping thinking this will do the job uh, and that is a USB plug to barrel jack, the relevant barrel jack to the radio. So if I plug that into the USB and the barrel jack into the radio, 
we see that the USB is fired up indicating that there is a load. Uh, there is a residual always load on this radio. I think it draws um, 10 milliamps, something of that order. Quite low, but a bit of a drain. And, um, and there's the radio, and if I switch it on, lo and behold, it all works. As the radio is 6 volts and the output to this is just over 5, I didn't think there'd be a risk, a problem of damaging the radio with the lower voltage, but I was concerned whether the radio would actually perform run without distortion, operate correctly with a slightly lower DC voltage. It appears as though everything is fine and you can run it up. Although I would suggest that if you try to get maximum volume from the radio, it would be clip, clipping slightly earlier because of the slightly lower supply voltage. Now, I mentioned just now the quiescent current is marginal, but it is there. And that is, of course, a problem because if you turn it off and you leave the power pack permanently connected with this lead. Let me put a white sheet of paper under the cable so you can actually see the cable assembly. So, yeah, that's a bit more visible. See what I'm talking about then. <laughs> now then, um, so to get around this problem, I um, purchased a second lead, um, and I think this is something to do with Raspberry Pi, but it, that's immaterial. Um, both links to the um, uh, cables were sourced from eBay, and I've got those listed um, down south. Now, so what I did was simply purchase this cable which has a switch in line, and it was a switch that I'm after. So if I disconnect the USB there at the um, power bank, connect in there like that, and on the socket, so it's got a USB socket on this end, you connect up that there. Now I've got the two leads connected, and I've got a switch in it. Um, at the moment, you can see that there is, even though the radio is off, there is a quiescent power uh, making the LED display on the radio fire up, and that's fine. But of course, that will slowly discharge the power pack. And as I'm not using the radio, maybe for two or three days, uh, when you come back, you know, it's it, 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 the power pack's more or less empty because it's discharged by the quiet, quiescent current. Now, if I switch this off, the radio turns off, and after a few moments, you'll see these indicating uh, these indicators turn off, indicating that there's no power being drawn. Um, and of course, if you want to switch it on, all you have to do is switch this. There you are, it's gone off now. All you have to do is switch the switch on, and the radio powers up, and then you can do that, and then you can turn the radio on. I've just connected up one of these cheapo um, voltmeter um, current meter devices that you plug on a USB and you can see that it's delivering 5.1 volts and drawing about 35, it switches between 3 and 4 so it would have to be around 35 milliamps whilst the radio is in quiescent current. If I switch the radio on, and bearing in mind that there is no sound going into the uh, speaker, <coughs> so therefore the load has got to be less, you can see that the uh, voltage has dropped down to 5.09, not much there. But if you look at the current, it's gone up to 0.12 of an amp. Well, with volume, that is normally about 0.15 of an amp. But you can see that there is a, um, a quiescent current dr uh, drawn from the battery pack, and that will, over time, cause a problem. Time for a little maths.
the radio lasted for about 10 hours and its consumption was 150 millions. Um, you can see here that uh, C equals XT, which is amp hour equals current drawn times the number of hours. Amp hours here, therefore, equals 150 millions, that's 0 0.15, times 10 hours, which naturally equals 1.5 or 150 millions. Considerably different to the, as advertised, 4,000 milliamp hour capacity um, on the box. A uh, couple of reasons for this. Uh, one is gross exaggeration, of course, by the manufacturer. Um, the other reason is that there are losses inside the uh, USB power bank itself. You've got the controller in here which produces losses. You've got an LED, a multi-LED display here which um, uh, consumes power. That all adds to the inefficiency. Um, you've got on my radio, you've got an LCD display with a backlight, uh, LED backlight that consumes uh, power. So there are losses involved, but nevertheless, um, uh, based on this figure here of 100, uh, 1,500 milliamps, I would say that this unit probably doesn't give more than 2,500 milliamp or 3,000 milliamp hour at best. Um, I'll just play with this figure for the sake of demonstration a little bit by bringing up a calculator and um, going by this um, simple formula up here, which is C equals XT. I'll go, um, what is it? Zero... 0 0.15 multiplied by 10 hours naturally equals 1.5, which is correct. Now, supposing I uh, suppose that my little radio, uh, because it does fluctuate anyway, subject to the sound that's being delivered. So if I change this instead of 0.15, if I change this to 0.12, Multiplied by 10 hours, naturally this will come out as 1.2 hours, a drop in the number of hours, the capacity of this power bank. Um, if I were to increase, let's go back to there, if I were to increase the power consumption to 170 milliamps, which is there, multiplied by 10 hours, well let's say Let's make this, instead of 10 hours, 8 hours, which is my original estimate, although the latest charge on this uh, USB power bank seems to be delivering about 10 hours. But let me try putting in 8 hours and see what that comes to. And you can see it's coming to 1,360 milliamp hours. So you can play around with this to your heart's content. And the radio does vary in its um, consumption of power. Uh, I'm informed that if you're listening to a speech station, a speech station will take less power from your batteries than, say, a music station. Anyway, that's enough of the maths. And um, there we are. This is Beamer signing out for now.